Morning guys, it is Inktober day 2 and today's prompt is Wisp. I'm using the official Inktober prompt list by the way, I'm gonna put it somewhere here on the screen. And this one gave me a bit of a headache, I wasn't too sure what it meant and even after I looked up the definition of it, it kinda didn't help me. So basically what it means is like a small amount of something, um, the examples that they gave were hair and grass or hay. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. There was also the example of um, this creature, um, basically something like a ghost light, I think. So yeah, that's the prompt and I had a difficult time with it. And I also wanted to mention that I'm, I'm probably not going to stick religiously to the prompt list. For now, it works for me. I started off with it, but I'm definitely gonna leave some prompts out and come up with something by myself. And if you're having the same issue, you don't need to stick to a prompt list. They're supposed to be helpful, so you have something that can kickstart an idea. But if they get in your way to be creative, then just ditch them and do whatever you feel like drawing. So yeah, so much to the prompt lists. And uh, here are the sketches that I made so far. A lot of them need some work. I mean, yeah, they, they need a lot of work. But um, this is day two. So I tried out a bunch of things. None of them I'm 100% happy with. This was supposed to be somebody laying in the grass um, because of you know, wisps of grass. Yeah, I have no idea. This was actually my first idea, just two people walking together. And um, I wanted to focus on the hair, but I doubt that anybody looking at this would think, ooh, look at all of these wisps of hair. I didn't go with this one because I really didn't want to draw a whole lot of details so a lot of grass, flower, something something things in a background. Yesterday was pretty stressful. I worked on Inktober for around 16 hours, you know, just sketching, drawing and then editing the video. So I want to take it easy today. I mean, there's still gonna be a whole lot of pattern on the clothes, but just because it's a bit bigger, I feel like it's gonna be less work, I hope. I'm thinking that maybe I could use the more creature definition of wisps, um, the ghost light thing if I would do a background and I don't want to do a whole lot of background this is supposed to be my relaxing piece I wasn't sure how to do it and then I remembered this sketch um, these are just sketches from um, stills from the movie Hagatsuza Depending on your region, you might be able to see this on Netflix. It's a witch movie and I really like it. It's a very somber and slow and quiet movie, but really nice to look at. And uh, yeah, it's great for um, running in the background while you're drawing. So give that a look if you feel like it. So this is the opening scene of the movie. And I thought maybe I could do something like this for the background. My plan is to put a lot of details on these two and make them a bit darker, except for his hair. So then this part can be um, a tree line. And I could... I'm not, I'm not sure how to do this. Either I'm gonna leave some parts of the paper white to suggest the wisps, or I'm gonna do everything with ink and then just paint them in with either, I don't know, this jelly roll. Yeah, I'm still not quite sure how to go about it and if it would even read as uh, ghost lights. It's probably gonna look more like bigger snowflakes, but 
<laughs> yeah, then that's just what it is. So yeah, that's the plan for today. Okay, I'm gonna start now and I see you in a bit. I'm gonna be working on this Tombow Bristol paper. This paper feels really weird to me because I'm so used to working with um, cotton watercolor paper. It is so smooth, it almost feels like the cover is even a bit shiny. So yeah, we'll see how this works out because I haven't done anything big on this. The only thing I've done so far is trying out some pens. And this worked out quite well. Every pen was gliding on this paper. I'm not quite sure how this paper will handle a whole lot of erasing. So I was extra careful not to be too harsh when I was correcting some lines. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I didn't sketch out any of the patterns that I already suggested here and little details because I would like to keep that um, for when I'm working with the pen and yeah so I hope I can keep it simple because I might be going out tonight which would be really fun because I haven't been in months so let's keep it simple get this done so I can have somewhat of a social life. Yay! Morning guys, it is day 3 of October, it's Saturday and I'm having a late start. Um, I went out with a friend yesterday and uh, being in a bar wasn't um, that great. I think I'm not used to having other people around me anymore. And even though there weren't a lot of people in there because they're allowing only so many people in, the background music and the constant chatter gave me a headache pretty quickly. So. Yeah, I think I, I just might be a uh, stay inside person for life now. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna get going and let us quickly talk about my piece for day two before I start on day three. I did notice that my pen tends to smudge a bit more. Um, the ink needs to dry a bit longer. But I'm not quite sure if it's the paper or if it's my pen, so um, I'll keep an eye on that. And I ended up covering up a whole lot of the pattern on his jacket because I went a bit overboard with it. I enjoy doing these small details so much that sometimes I lose focus of the overall picture. And um, I need to try and turn my brain on every now and then. <laughs> because uh, it, it was just too busy here. So yeah, I'm gonna keep that in mind as I move forward. And uh, yeah, I had fun with it. Uh, wait a second. And I think it looks pretty nice with my first one, even though the whites are a bit different. Um, I can already tell that I'm gonna be <laughs> a lot 
a happy at this Inktober with my pieces. Um, I think it's kind of nice that I'm starting off already knowing which tools I'm gonna use and uh, yeah I'm pretty excited to see all of the 31 finished pieces together and uh, yeah. let's get started on day three. So I printed out a sketch and yeah my printer is running out of ink um, but I decided that this is just a bit too small which might bite me in the ass. Um, luckily I was able to still find a bigger sized sheet of paper. Um, I need to order some new ones. So this is gonna be this big now. I need to still work on the sketch because yeah, she's not really finished yet. I'm gonna put on a movie and See you in a bit. I thought I check in with you because I feel like I'm not really making progress at all today and that might be because I really don't feel like drawing today. <laughs> Such a rainy and gloomy day I much rather be laying on the couch and watching One Piece right now. So I've been using mainly these three pens. I tried using the brush pen a bit, but uh, yeah, I'm not really confident using this. For the tip is short and not as flexible as. You know, these um, Pentel brushes so I thought that this might be a good beginner pen brush and these two the 005 and the 01 are for details and I'm sounding so sad oh no. my guess is that this still needs around maybe two hours of work and I think I just can bring myself to do it today. <laughs> um, I can already feel myself getting sloppy and I think what I'm gonna do is play catch up tomorrow. I'm gonna finish this first thing in the morning before I start the next one. Only three days in and I'm already starting to slack off. But that's how it is with drawing challenges. They are good and not so great days, so I rather stop before I mess it up.
Okay, it's time that I talk a bit about each of these three pieces because I realized that um, the footage that you saw was pretty incoherent um, and that's because I felt a bit <laughs> hectic the last couple of days. Um, I didn't talk a whole lot, I didn't even start off the filming with hey guys it's day so and so um, because I was trying to catch up. Now I'm good so um, let's take some time to talk about what happened. So this one actually did manage to bite me in the ass in the end because it was a bit bigger and I wasn't feeling great on the day that I did this so I decided to stop and continue on the next morning which I'm happy about um, because I like how it turned out. I mean there are a couple of things that I would like to change or add like um, a bit more shading to the baskets. I feel like they are very flat but it's a uh, minor thing and oh I also realized that I forgot. Yeah, it doesn't matter, okay? I. <laughs> I like it overall, there are a um, couple of small things that um, I missed because I was trying to get it done and that was also the day when I wanted to do this one but for some reason it just didn't want to turn out the way I wanted it to and I had to change up the sketch again and again. Maybe it was because I was feeling a bit stressed because I was falling behind and I didn't have a full day to relax and rest and my brain was a bit cluttered so that might have been it but I ended up doing both of these on Monday even though they are a bit simpler, I mean this one more than this one and that's because I really like the sketch for this one so I wanted to put a bit more time and effort into this so I got this one quickly out of the way and started on this and yeah so that's pretty much what happened. I didn't think that filming and talking about what I was doing every now and then would be um, a bit more stressful than I thought but I think that's really just a art challenge thing um, I mean if you're attempting to draw every day it always is a bit stressful so I think I need to rethink my approach to how I'm filming this and editing I think I need to make sure that every day I'm at least checking the footage that I have so I can make a somewhat coherent video. Um, I know that being like hey guys these are my last three days haha <laughs> sorry for not filming isn't uh, the best way to make a video or to end a video but uh, yeah that's just how it is that's the kind of YouTube person I am. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. Thanks for watching. Bye!